Hello and welcome to another video. Now this is definite integral and so we'll have to do some evaluation even after we're done um, integrating. But as you can see you can't just go ahead and integrate because you have a square root sign that is holding a linear expression under so you might just start thinking of doing a u substitution. So let's just go ahead and do this. So we're going to say to consider, um, because we don't want to keep taking this 0 and 15 together, okay, because that's going to be a lot of writing. You just want to rewrite this expression and say consider the expression um, x over square root of 36 plus 3x dx. So this is what we want to deal with, okay? You don't want to keep writing this. So in order to um, avoid repeating this, just rewrite the expression without that, and then when you're done, you can come back to it, okay? We can say, let u be equal to 36 plus 3x, okay? Um, whenever you do a u substitution, it's always good, and you find out that this same x you're substituting is somewhere else. You want to know what this x is going to be in terms of u. So that's the first thing you want to do, and that means that x will be u minus 36 divided by 3. So you want to do that. Okay, that's the first decision you want to make. That's done. Now what's du dx? If we differentiate this, we're going to get 3. And, and because you're going to be replacing dx for your u substitution, what will dx be? dx will be equal to du over 3. See, this is what you call the preparation stage. Okay, because if you get this right, you're good. So you can go back and say that this is actually a transformation. So we can say, so... We can say that this integral of x over square root of 36 plus 3x dx is actually the integral, or it implies, you may not write equation, is implies we're going to change all of this. What is x? We said x is this, is u minus 36 over 3 divided by the square root of this. Remember we said this is u. Okay, uh, divided by the square root of u. And what is dx? dx is du over 3. So we just write du over 3. Now this is what we need to deal with from now on. And we're done with this. Okay, now let's go back here. So we're going to go here and rearrange this. And this is the rearrangement. This 3 is going to drop down here. And this 3 will multiply that 3, and we're going to end up with this. Integral of u minus 36 over 9 square root of u du. Now this looks cleaner, it's easier, because at this point, we can split this into 2. This gives us u over 9 square root of u minus 36 over 9 square root of u, okay, du. So we can have two separate integrals from at this point. Remember, these two are the same. So this can simply mean we have the integral of u over, well, u over square root of u, let's clean that up right now. Remember that u over square root of u is the same thing as u times u to the negative one half, okay? You apply the product rule, 1 minus half is going to give you 1 half. Okay, and that's it. So this is the same thing as 1 over 9 times u to the 1 half. du minus, we do the same thing here too. It's going to be the integral of 9 in 36 is 4. So it's going to be 4 times u to the negative 1 half. Okay, du. We just have two expressions. Now we're writing them um, in ways that we can easily integrate, and that's the most important thing. 
So after this separation and simplification, the next thing is integration. So let's just integrate. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to move these constants out because you don't need them inside. Take them outside and they're going to be 1 over 9, the integral of u to the 1 half du minus 4 multiplied by the integral of u to the negative 1 over 2 du. Oh, this goes here. Okay, let's integrate. If you integrate this, you're going to add 1 to it, that's going to be 3 over 2. And you, then you divide by 3 over 2, so this is going to be 1 over 9, okay, multi times u, watch this, I'm going to leave a space here, times u to the 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2, but that means multiplied by 2 over 3, times 2 over 3. That's a quick trick. Minus, you do the same thing here, it's going to be 4, leave a space, u to the, if you add 1 to this, it's going to be 1 half, that's u to the 1 half, divided by 1 half, will be the same thing as multiplying by 2. Okay, we've done our integration, and plus c. Remember, you need to put the plus c at this point, because you're not using your boundaries yet, okay? So when your boundaries are not in effect, you have to remember to put the plus c. Um, let's clean this up and see what our substitutions will be. So this will be the same thing as u to the over 27. So this is going to be um, 2 over 27 u to the 3 over 2 minus, at this point, this is going to be 8 u to the 1 half. Okay, that's the square root, but let's just make it 1 half. Okay, plus c. Now that we're done integrating, we've gotten u, let's go back to this equation, no, this equation we started with, and put the boundaries. Now, your boundaries, this is where many people forget. Your boundaries will no longer be in terms of x like we started with. The boundaries are going to be in terms of u because you have integrated with respect to u. So what is u when x is 0 and what is u when x is 15? Those are the two boundaries. So you quickly do your math here. Just create a box. I'm going to create a box here. Okay, so when x equals 0, u will be equal to 36 plus 36 plus 3 into 0. And that would give us 36 plus 0. That gives us 36. So that's our lower boundary, remember? So that's what we're going to write here and say that the integral of this expression here, which is, um, you know what? I'm going to take this 9 to the other side. No, just leave it inside. Um, u minus 36 over 9 square root of u du with a lower boundary of 36 and an upper boundary. Let's find the upper boundary. When x equals 15, you have u equals 36 plus 3 into 15. That's 45 plus 36. That's going to give you 81. The upper boundary is 81. Now, never forget to do this. Because if you plug in 0 and 15 into this, in, into this value for your evaluation, that's going to be a problem. Okay, so this expression actually gives us this, and then we evaluate at these limits, 36 and 81, okay? So this will now be equal to, you know, we have integrated this, so this is our answer. It's gonna be two over 27. Then what is u? u is now, that's, we're gonna start with the upper boundary. That's gonna be 81. That's 81 raised to power three over two minus, okay, we're multiplying, minus, 8u to the half, that's going to be 8 times 81 to the 1 half. Okay, that's the first portion. Minus the lower boundary. The lower boundary is using 36. We repeat the same numbers. 2 over 27 times 36 raised to power 3 over 2. Uh, minus 8 times 36 to the 1 half. Okay. So, that's it. Let's evaluate. So at this point, we just, the square root of, nine, of 81 is 9. 9 raised to the third power is 729. So you want to do that. 
So this is going to be 2 times 729 over 27 minus, this is going to be square root of um, 81 is 9, 9 times 8 is 72. Okay, so we'll put this still in parentheses. Okay, just like this. Minus, we do the other side. This is square root of 36 is 6. 6 times 6 to the third power is 216. So that's 2 times 216 over 27. And this will be minus, this is um, square root of 36 is 6. 6 times 8 is 48. Now, some people will start um, simplifying. You know what? Let's just try and see how well we can simplify this. Let's see it. 9 will divide 27 three times. 9 will divide this, um, how many? 81 times. So, 3 in 81 is supposed to be 27. So, 27 times 2 is 54. Oh, we got that. So, this is 54 minus 72 minus let's see what this gives us firstly i know three will divide these two numbers okay so let's start with that three here will give us nine and three in two one six is going to be um 72 no three in two one six yeah it's 72 brilliant and then so let's do that <laughs> so this is going to be uh oh nine can do it 9 in 27 is 3, 9 in 21 is 2, remaining 3 in 36 is 4, and then 3 will divide 24 again, you get 8, so that gives you 16. Ooh, that's 16. Okay, 16 minus 48. Okay, what do we have here? No, it's going to be plus. Oh, that changes into plus. So this is going to be 54 plus 48, that's 102, minus 72 is 30, 30 minus 16 is 14. That is the definite integral between the boundaries of 0 and 15 of this expression. Give this video a like, give it a share. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video until then don't stop learning because if you stop learning well not you those who stop learning have stopped living bye bye